So, EA dropped the 75 plus player pick. We're going to open a bunch of them and hopefully get some of the new Road to the Knockout cards. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Now, these aren't like SBCs that we've had in previous years. We are very early into the game still, to be fair. These player picks are one of two players, 75 plus. Um, yeah. On paper, they don't sound great. But to be fair, it's three non-rares and one rare gold card. So it's not super expensive to complete. And you can get a lot of them done. Um, and they're essentially a gold upgrade. But you get to pick one of the two players. As opposed to get both of them, I guess. Uh, but for half the price. Um, we'll see how good they are. Apparently, these are really good. So we'll see just how good they really are. First player picks that we've had this year, though. We haven't had player picks this year yet. So it's the first set of player picks we've had. Um... Hey, so far, we've not had a 75 rated card yet, so it's a good start. Uh, it is the first set of uh, of these sort of things we've had, though. So, it'll be interesting to see what these are like, and if they are viable to complete. If they are as OP as player picks last year were, because player picks last year were cracked. Um, interesting that it's one of two players, though. It just, looks, it just looks strange to me. It just looks weird. I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it. It just looks, it just looks strange, seeing only two items there to choose from. I'm not, I wasn't used to, like, silver in champs last year, so I never saw those kind of player picks, you know what I mean? Um, uh, anyway, uh, first set hasn't started off ideally. We've got four left of the first page, though. We've not had a walkout yet. We've had a couple of boards, which I guess is okay, but we've not had a walkout yet or, or a rotor knockout or anything like that. Um, and we've still not had one. So, yeah, not a great start to these player picks, in fairness. Oh, we've got an 84. I'll take that. 84 is not too bad. The good news about it, though, what I will say, what I like about player picks a lot more is this is a lot more manageable. Because you can open player picks continuously and keep all of your duplicates here, it makes it a lot easier to rinse a lot of these player picks and then save your duplicates to put into an SPC. So if you're grinding an RTG, for example, like when I did them on my RTG, it makes life easier because you can then keep Felipe, Vitzel when you're unassigned, go put them into an SPC when you've got a load in the unassigned. You know what I'm saying? So let's go and build another page and see what we get. I have always wanted to say this. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. I know most of you guys, if not all of you guys, have heard of Raid Shadow Legends in the past. Raid is this champion collection RPG style game. And what I love about it is it has over 600 champions that you guys can collect. Now, I've been loving using uh, my level 6 War Priest. She is the GOAT. Not only can you collect the best champions and fight bosses... This month, Raid has a non-stop schedule of special events and activities, including an absolutely jam-packed Halloween lineup towards the end of the month. We're talking massive rewards, huge tournaments against other players, and a brand new Halloween-themed champion. Now, one of my favorite things in Raid is actually the bosses as opposed to just the champions. I love the bosses, and they've got a brand new Sylva... Am I saying this right? Sylvania? Guardian of the Spirit Keep boss. I'll play some footage on the screen. She's this awesome Spirit Keep dungeon boss. She's an absolute machine and she's very hard to beat. She's actually more about healing than doing damage. She heals up like half of her health every turn she gets, which makes it very, very hard to beat her. I just love the amount of thought that Raid put into their bosses as opposed to just their champions. It makes the game a lot more fun. It just spices the game up. And they bring in regular new bosses, which is a lot of fun. There is a ton to do in Raid Shadow Legends. And if you guys want to get a head start, head on over to the link in the description down below. You'll get an epic hero Chonaru, I believe is how you pronounce his name. I'm awful with the names of the champions, I can't lie. But you also get 200,000 silver, an XP boost, an energy refill, and an ancient shard, just for going to my link in the description. All of it will be waiting for you right here at the top. You see this little, you see this little chest right here? Click on that, it's your inbox. Click on that, right, right there. You can also just scan the QR code. It's in one of these corners, it's been there the whole video. Scan that code and you'll also get the bonuses. Massive, massive, massive thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. I was gassed to get this sponsorship opportunity because I actually play Raid in my spare time. Make sure to download Raid and get your free rewards. Link in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. All right, we've got another page completed. Another 12 player picks to go. Can we get a UCL or UEL or UCL row to the knockout stage card? EA. That's what we're on the lookout for right here. We're on the lookout for a road to the knockouts card. Ooh, I nailed him. That's all right. Or, do you know what? You know, actually, I'll take a decent walkout as well. That's all right. I do already have him untradeable, so I'm going to take Cramrich because he's higher rated. Because I already have the informant tradable. We'll take it, though. I mean, it's an inform at the end of the day. It's first special card. 
We're looking for high rated cards here. That's what we're looking for. High rated cards or road to the knockouts. Not there. Even though it's two items, they've kind of made it quite suspenseful because it takes a little bit longer, I feel like, to open up the player pick. So I kind of rate that. I kind of rate that. Come on, Leo, please. I've got too many duplicates. I've got far too many duplicates. It's actually so bad. I have far too many dupes. That's annoying. Come on, please. Two more of the second set. Oh, man. We've opened 23 so far and we yet to get a walkout. 24th right here. No. All right. Well, another full page of duplicates. We are yet to get a walkout from these packs. The only special card we've had is an 81 rated inform. So, not looking good so far. Okay, we've got another full page from Ben now. Apparently, the internet's not looking good today. So, it may it may crash at some point. Uh, but, we're going to try it anyway. Hopefully, it's going to work. Fingers crossed. Fair and on the first one. To be fair, like, we haven't had a single player pick yet. Where it's been, like, all 75 rated items or, or anything like that. So, the, I'd say, in terms of getting, like low to mid rate range fodder it's not bad like getting the 83s and 84s and stuff like that but yeah we're still yet to see a walkout or like a rosa knockout or anything like that in these uh in these packs so if we can see one of those then that'd be pretty nice ea you know what i mean that'd be pretty nice um so 82 rated hazard all right come on ea please if, it, if if i'm gonna get anything get it on ben's account all right he didn't have like four million coins in the bank all right so like let him hook him up, brother. H hook a brother up. Hook him up. Come on. Halfway through. 83 is highest so far. 82 Madison. It's not looking good. It's looking uh it's looking ropey right now. It's looking ropey. 83 Kier. 83 is still the highest rated we've had in these so far on this on this page. What are we saying? Come on. Rose of the knockouts right here. No, 82 Bailey. This ain't looking good. They say it looking good. Come on. Hey! Oh, no way! The best one! Oh, my God! No way! Oh, oh, my word! Ben just got the best one! No way, man! No way! Oh, my goodness gracious! How much is this card worth, man? What is, what is Mark Ineos worth? Marquinhos. Oh, oh, how much are you worth? Marquinhos CB. 750,000 coins. Oh, my word. Literally the best one. <laughs> That's crazy. I love how you can tell straight away that it's a UCL road to the knockout as well. I mean, oh, and a walkout straight after. What? Obviously, like, Son is technically the best one. But I mean the best one of the UCL, like, Champions League ones, right? Um, Son's obviously the best one. We're ending off so well there, though. Look at the last three. An 84, an 86, and an 89 Marquinhos. That is crazy. That is actually crazy. Oh, my word. W. All right, we've got a full page for Sam now. He's already got an untradable Mbappe. He's already got an untradable Kylian Mbappe. The boy. Oh, I just realized we got Marquinhos whilst wearing the PSG shirt. I just realized that. Oh, my word. We got him Marquinhos whilst wearing the PSG shirt. The lucky shirt. That's all because of the shirt, that is. That's all. I'm, I'm taking full credit. I'm taking... If I had worn a spy, I don't have a spy shirt. But if I had worn a spy shirt, it would have been Son. You know what I mean? So I'll take full credit for that. W. Ooh, speaking of spies, there's under ballet, but we take Nick Pope. What are we saying? Can we get, like, another one? Is that is that being greedy? Nah. It's two different accounts. So, so technically, it's not being greedy, right? I mean, it kind of is. But it shouldn't be. If you think about it. If you think about it. Most of those goals are champs. Mad. All right. Come on. Come on, EA. Four more. I want to see like a, a conference league or a Europa League one now as well. Like, let's see an Isak or a Son or something. You know? Ooh, Castiles. There's our first walkout. Two more. These always get juicy with three left. I wish it got juicy like with eight left. You know what I mean? All right. Last one. Gareth Bale. I mean, for low to mid-rated fodder... It's not awful. It's just not great. All right, we've got our last page of these player picks to make up 50. My math is very bad on that. I think we've done 60, but 50 sounds better for a YouTube title. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, and Gundogan in the first one's not a bad start. 85 is nice, man. 85 is nice. Come on, let's see another. Oh! Ball, 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 ball. All right, we'll take that. I just realized, though. 
I'm wearing the PSG shirt. Is that like, are we foreshadowing something? I'm not sure. We could be, could be foreshadowing. So I'm going to say uh, um, one rating to make a difference. I feel like we're foreshadowing uh, a Pogba PSG move in the summer. That's what I feel like is happening right now. Hey, we'll take it though. Pull up, pull, Pogba. Very nice. All right. Here we get. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh my word. Alfonso Davies is genuinely better than a lot of like walkouts. He's like 50k still. Jeez. These, oh my god, what is going on? I know he's not worth loads, right? I'm getting super excited of like a 15k card, but it's just the fact that these are giving out insane pulls right now. Is, what is going on? What is actually going on right now? Huh? Huh? Mate, my eyes need testing. My eyes need testing. This is the best page of player picks I've seen. What? What is that? That is a ridiculous page of player picks. That is actually a ridiculous page of player picks to end it off. If you guys like that, that deserves a like. Just, just deserves a like. Thank you all for watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Remember to drink your water. And I'll see you lads later.